Be prepared for offensive language and confrontation. Dear 30. A house that plays together doesn't always stay together. I slide you off behind your back and tell you I love you too, guys. Vitriol pouring out of that woman. You did not pile it on. Well done. Really? Yes. You are a nasty piece of work. Shut up, big gob. You are a no good, vile scum of the earth. And you made your reputation show on your knockers, dear. If you paid her enough, she'd get her old saggy boots out now. And divisions deepen. What a horrible bunch of people in this house. Bitch. The vilest woman I've ever met in my life. I wasn't wrong about her. She's nasty, evil and horrible. There's nothing you can do, darling. With chinless wonders. a.m. After last night's eviction, the remaining housemates are waking up as finalists. Last night, Kim, Nicola and Bianca had an argument. My vote goes to Kim purely for the fact that she was not very nice to my man. Yeah! At all. Your young man... Please don't you start. You started this. Kim, your boyfriend, who timed his he's wife... He's not here to defend with three himself. three children. Don't stuff your game. Don't Just, start again. Don't, excuse me. Filth! We weren't big, that thing, with Kim, though. We, no. we basically didn't say anything after we said our points. We didn't go on about it. No. She was like, I wanted to keep this nice, but the thing she said about me, Nicola would start an argument in an empty house, weren't nice. Yeah. And I didn't say anything about that. I just let her say it. Jedward are enjoying some twin time. Everyone in Ireland's probably like, oh, my God, Jedward are made it to the final. That's celebrity Big Brother All-Stars. Stop doing that. You get it? There's enough bubbles. Yeah. It's really good. Like, I'm a part of us. I think it's really good. Like, I just feel like we've earned our position in the final. I know. We I have. Like Think that. of all the stuff we've been through every I single know. week. People nominating us. I Talk know. about crazy. It's like, are you joking me? It's actually so awesome. It is amazing. Let me cover you up. Let me cover you up. Come on. Turn 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 more. Do a rotation. It's more about that area. I don't really want anyone to see you. Turn 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 Try more. My bum was okay. Yeah. I just pull my pants. Like, okay. Yeah, there you go. No, that's kind of weird looking. Why is it weird? Or just go. Give me a You're thing of bubbles. Fine. Where to where? I'm going to get the shaving. All right, go get. Go. I think we were in in a camp or something. Kim has come to the diary room to speak to Big Brother. How are you? Oh, I'm thrilled. Uh, I've made the Friday. Uh, it's good, you know, I'm shocked. Uh, but pleasantly shocked. So whatever happens now, I don't care. I've made Friday. How are you feeling after last night? Oh, I'm fine. Oh, love you, I've got so used to this sniping. I've said, don't start, Nicola. Once again, in front of her whole audience last night, she's got to be surrounded by her audience. She kicked off. She does take a lot of booze. And then she, she, all the things that she feels and she thinks she feels for no darn... It come out. But she snipes even when she's sober. I mean, she was sniping all day yesterday at me and I was just knocking it off. I thought... When it kicks off, they all go to Nicola's aid. Uh, I don't think when Nicola starts and gets it back, that anyone needs to interfere. If she can cause trouble, she'll have to take it. And I was annoyed with James C. He is one of the gang, he interfered. I haven't had one cross word with James C. Not one. I've treated him with courtesy. I have told him, which is perfectly true. My husband, I love watching him in his films. Uh, he's a damn good actor, but he still chips in. I don't get it, big brother. Uh, but I don't know what he's all about, Big Brother. Twelve forty PM. 
After running out of underwear, John has borrowed one of Bianca's thongs. I <laughs> <laughs> meant to do that. I don't know what was going on? To get in there. Yeah, they're supposed to get right in there. Yeah. Yeah, but they're right in there. Yeah. <laughs> they're right. Right. right in there. Do you think it was? Like, they're it's right like, in there, like it's literally. Like... Where did it go? I don't know where it's gone. Think, oh, it's gone right <laughs> up there anyway. <laughs> do you not wear thongs, you boys? No, never. <laughs> They're actually okay. I'll, I'll, I'll wear them. Yeah, but... they're a manly colour. They're like yeah. army colour, aren't they? Yeah. Khaki. Is there it's another colour? What do you think? Like about them? Ooh. Well, boys, you've now tried thongs, dear. It's pretty full on. Ooh. I feel like John's mooning. You might get a sore bum later when they chafe. <laughs> oh, God, I'm sorry. Thanks, Kim. I believe you have to get used to them. Nicola is talking about Jedward. That one twin is actually lovely, you know. Edward, he yeah. said. I really like him. Really sweet boy. Yeah. I think you would need six months with them till you got really into their heads. Yeah. You know. Well, I think one you of them... You saw a little crack now and then, you know, you thought, yeah. oh, there's that person in there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know? I'm not sure about John, who's definitely the driving force of the whole thing. John is. Yes. Yeah. Without a shadow of a doubt, Edward is much more real. I'm surprised that you could tell who was who, to be fair. They're so easy to tell. Yeah, no, I no, can't. Yeah. Still, when Still. they're when they're together, yeah. I can tell they look really different now. Actually, <laughs> so John's the much more. I know you keep telling me this, and yeah. Edward's mm. much more camp. Mm. What is going on? There's no support. God. One twenty-two p.m. For today's task, Big Brother has asked housemates to host a series of programmes on their own television channel, CBB TV. The first programme to be televised is Bianca and Jedward's home shop and show called Selling Yourself Short. As presenters, they'll be tasked with selling the unsellable. <laughs> hey, and welcome to the show. Today we are here to talk to you about selling yourself short. We'll be showing you products that will change your life for the better. Get excited, because we're so excited. <laughs> We've got some amazing products today. <laughs> today we're going to show you something that's going to change your life forever. Ooh, mystery <gasps> can. It's you order the cans, but you oh. don't know what's inside. <laughs> Let's place them here. Mm -hmm. What I love about the mystery can <laughs> is the effort put in with the package. <laughs> yes. It's simple, it's sweet, Effective and it's a mystery. Oh, darn, I'm gagging already. Oh, oh. oh my god, <laughs> this smells something very mysterious. <laughs> it's like Ooh. such a scrumptious meal. Ooh. How the consistency and the meat flow. Yeah. <laughs> I like, oh, it's dog food. Oh, god. Yeah. You know, I it's like always a mystery. Yeah. Oh, too big. I'm gonna try the product. Good. You try it as well. I'm gonna, because it's delicious. Look okay. at that. Do you see that? Uh, wow, it tastes so oh. oh! If you order now, right now, we'll throw in five extra yeah. mystery cans. Yes. So good. Do you try it already? <laughs> yeah. Let me oh, try. You ready? Oh, Let me God. try. If you get sick, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> it's got the whole spirit. <laughs> I'm going to put it out now so I can share it with the others. Um, can we do a paramedic sunset? <laughs> as, um, I'm <laughs> just so happy. <laughs> Coming up, Nicola and Kim go head to head. Yeah. You are a no good, vile, fucking scum of the earth. Shut your fucking and mouth you're and a take them to me. Major reputation show on your knockers, dear. <laughs> Be prepared for offensive language and confrontation. <laughs> One fifty-four p.m. For today's task, Big Brother has launched CBB TV, a channel that will be hosted by the housemates. 
The first programme to air is Bianca and Jedward's home shop and show, Selling Yourself Short. OK, guys. <gasps> <gasps> Whoa! Oh, my God. Look at that. <laughs> Painless wax, wax strip. strip. <laughs> got a bit of hair going yeah. on here. Let's got to rub them use... to get the heat yeah, going. Gotta... Rub it up. Rub, 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 rub. This okay. is John's stomach. It's not for yeah. sale, but the painless <laughs> wax strips are oh. going to show. But John, they're painless. They're painless. So I don't want no <laughs> crying because this is so yeah, not so. I'm a man. I'm a man. I got this. Thanks. So you give it another little rub. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> this is the best <laughs> feeling ever. Painless. Uh, three, two, one. <laughs> yeah, I laughed it off. Okay. Yeah. Right, look at the results. Get, get, get the center. Get okay? the center. Okay. And it's gonna do it now. Get it on yeah. there. Get rub it, it on. There. Rub it on. Little rub there. Okay, John. This is shocking time. Three, two, one. If you don't get this, then you're crazy. <laughs> painless, yes, painless, 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 um, painless. Anyway, I just heard from our director <laughs> department that yes. the painless wax strips have sold out in yes. record time. Right. It's all about selling yourself short, and we've so got the best products for you. We've saved the best to last. This. I'm really excited yeah. about mm. this one. I've heard rumors of what this could be, <laughs> and I hope it lives up to expectations. <laughs> Three, two, one, one reveal! Ooh. Oh my god! Look at that! Do you see the texture? Mm. It looks very creamy. Lovely. You know, this health smoothie is amazing. Great for your New Year's resolutions as well. You want to get that fit, healthy body? This is the health smoothie that you're going to need. Bianca, or what is inside this? CBB's Health Smoothie is a special blend of mushroom soup, fish sauce, cottage cheese, spinach, and a fermented egg. Cheers! It's so good. Mm -hmm. really good. <laughs> Gargawa. <coughs> oh. Oh. Wow! <coughs> that really caught me off guard. <laughs> it was so delicious that my body couldn't process just how delicious it was. He will, seriously. Mm. Oh, doesn't it taste it. so good? Oh. oh. Wow! <laughs> Get it in there. Wow! Did you see that squirt? Wasn't that a nice one? There's definitely something else in there. OK? <laughs> wow. Jedward and Bianca, it would seem all of your items are sold out. <gasps> meaning that's the end of selling yourself short. Woo! Cue the track! Cue the track! Thank you. We'll see you tomorrow. They did so well. Three twelve p.m. John and Edward are in the diary room discussing today's task. I feel me and Edward really have a big imagination and to sell such simple products and make it so exciting and entertaining is a big, big skill. We did such a great job. I feel no one else in the house could do the things that me no and John way. do. And because we don't have an ego about us, we just rocked it. Yeah. But other housemates would have been like, no, I'm not doing that. Yeah. I feel me and John are the Oprahs of this TV channel, Anchormen, and we set the bar so high. Nicola and Colleen are talking about Kim. I just don't want her to win. Oh, she probably will, though. Do you think it'll be her or Jedward? Do you think? I want it, or, or James, but I seriously, if she wins, I, I definitely need an inquiry. I want to know. I want to meet people. Yeah, I would like to. I'd like us to then interview yeah. these people <laughs> that actually found her entertaining. But maybe they find her entertaining because she is just so weird. But then that is good for the final, but not a good winner. I don't know. She's just bizarre. Like I've really got used to Jedward. Yeah. You know, like in the first couple of weeks, though, to be honest, they drove me up the frigging wall. Because, again, I'd never met anything like them and I, I just didn't understand it. I've got used to them and they've been lovely the last few days. Edward's just a dream. Mm -hmm. They've been lovely and they've been fun and they want it to be fun to the end. Not with Snow White. I still think they've been hard to live with. Yeah. And I won't say anything different. That not only have I survived to the final, I've survived living with Kim and Jedward has been amazing. <sighs> yeah.
but give me them over her any day. Totally yeah. agree. Definitely. Nine forty five PM. For the next part of today's task, housemates will take part in CBB TV's classic quiz show, Who Is It? Oh my God, I'm so excited. Housemates will hear a series of viewers' opinions, tweets and housemate diary rooms. All they have to do is decide which housemate is being talked about in each clip. You're supposed to have your hands then. You have to have your hands on the Those side. Those nails are too long. It gives you an extra advantage of pressing the buzzer. Shut your face. I'll shut your gob. I'll shut I'll my mind and shut my right. pants. Right, we're all playing this way, are we? Right, OK. All on buzzer. Go on, Kim. The housemate with the most correct answers at the end of the quiz will win a special prize. This housemate is the biggest game player in the house and has been the most antagonistic towards other housemates. <laughs> The fastest buzzer was Jedward. Um, antagonistic. Um, definitely has to be Nicola with those glasses. Mm, don't know what's going on. She's got that. double vision. She can see everything. Yeah, she's got eyes in the back of her head as well. All right, all right. Don't pad your part. Come on, Kim Woodburn. We'll never get home tonight where you're going on. That answer is incorrect. Ah. The next fastest housemate <laughs> was Colin. Well, I'll have to say, sorry, Jedward. That is the correct answer. What? Guys, I wouldn't have what? I'm going to Google Colleen, you have earned one point. Perfect. What? This housemate has been cunning and is playing an excellent game. I didn't catch the first This housemate has been cunning and playing an excellent game. The fastest buzzer was... Jedward. OK, we're going to go for James C. Because, because he's a gentleman. He wears his, his straps around his and shirt. And that beard and that moustache are very cunning. cunning. Yes. That is the correct answer. <laughs> Jedward, you have earned one point. Thank you. At Shanghai Hannah said, at BB UK, blank, do you think you deserve to win when on balance you've not been as active or entertaining as other housemates? Hashtag CBB. The fastest buzzer was Jedward. We're going to go by past tweets that we heard coming into the Big Brother house, and we think this guy's actually awesome, and I don't know how people think about him, but, yeah, I'm going to go with James C. Because he's too busy flirting with Colleen on a regular basis. They're too busy play, flirting with the eyes. Eye contact is strong, mm -hmm. and why would you do anything else if you had well, the eye contact? Well, remember when people are married, you. that's offensive, just to make oh, you sorry, aware. Okay, okay. Well, she would be offensive. totally unoffensive, dear. Sorry, you would be totally sorry, unoffensive. Sorry, Could have eyes on the people. Sorry, what? I'll try again. I'll try again. Don't yeah. fucking yeah. start on yeah. me. You being totally unoffensive, you've got the nerve to pick on the boys. Let's just play the game, shall we? Really? She went off the game. Yes. Okay. Really? Retake, retake. Yes. Stop. Okay. Stop. Do it after the game. Yeah, after, after the game. Let's get this heads. Okay. Let's get out of this room. That answer is correct. Oh. The next Twitter question is at a lawyer underscore green said at BB UK blank. Why are you mocking J and E? Calling them fucking Jedward <laughs> behind their backs and smiling right to them faces, telling that you love them. Hashtag CBB. Oh, I don't know. No idea. The fastest buzzer is Nicola. Oh. Pressed it way prematurely, but now I'm thinking it can only be me. But although I don't think I tell them that I love them to their face, I do love Edward. But um, yeah, let's say me. That answer is incorrect. Okay. The next fastest housemate <coughs> is Colleen. Um, I don't know. I'm going to say me. That answer is correct. Colleen, you have earned a point. So what does Co what do you do? Apparently, I slag you off behind your back and tell you I love you to your Colleen, face. Colleen, it's OK. As long as to our face, you're all love, and then behind the scenes, yeah, you do what you I never slag face. you off, I just say, don't no, get you. I never said yeah. that to you. Can I say something? This is Big Brother. Contestants should look at the screen. The first clip is coming up. Oh, I hate this game. Vitriol uh, pouring out of that woman. Um, what can I say? You know, it's people like that 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 say dreadfully hurtful things about people when they have no actual knowledge of that person's situation. It's... The fastest buzzer is Jedward. And who was James talking about in this clip? 
In the past, James C. has spoken about Kim, mm -hmm. for arguments she's had with Nicola McLean. And, McLean. Um, I, McLean. Yeah, that's my answer. James C. talking about Kim. Woodburn. 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 And I never saw her about an actor job. I don't know what you got about. You are a wonderful actor. You did not pile it on. Well done. Kim Woodburn. Who are you talking to, me? I wouldn't no, me. pick you up with two shitty sticks. Shut up. Don't tell me to shut then up. Then shut up, big gob. You are f you are a nasty piece of work. And you and you're are a showing fine little yourself. creature who is jealous you of everybody. Are anybody. You're a gobble. Yourself. You're awful. Start you're awful. and I'm warning you now. Awful. You're warning me Miss, what? Miss Insecure. What are you, what Miss are you, Insecure. What are you warning me about? What are you? What Don't are you warning? Don't start with me. What are you warning me about? Your behaviour. You are a no good, vile, fucking scum of the earth. Shut your fucking and mouth. And you're a Three girl made your reputation show in your knockers, dear. Oh, well, but right. don't Let's get out of this room, big brother. That's Let's get nasty. another question. Going I don't care, it's the truth. Go. Did you hear what she just said to me? Mm -hmm. Then you don't start. You're all two faced. Don't tell me not to start. And don't start jumping in. Did and you hear what she just said to yes, me? Yes, you are vile. Yes. I totally yeah. agree. Yeah. Vile and so and does weird. everyone here, oh, apart yeah. from Jedwards. So there you go. I hope you're. I hope you're happy with how you behave. Oh, I see really the doctor. Do. You need one. Yes. For goodness sake, get yourself sorted out. Did I get the answer right? Jedward, that is the correct answer. It was James C. talking about Kim. Kim Feel <laughs> talking to James, and she almost is get, getting James ready because that's what <laughs> does. She goes gets yeah. some man in the house to Definitely. fight her back. So I think James because Callum used to do that, and now she has yeah. James yeah. ready to take on she just, Kim. She walks them, she has them all wrapped around her finger. Thank you. Yeah. I'm quite right. Completely. <laughs> the fastest buzzer is Nicola. Which housemate would Jed were talking about? Me, of course. Talking shit, as always. Well, oh, I don't think true. so. I think very accurate. Cool. That is the correct answer. No. Well done, boys. I'm so sick of I'm so sick of putting this act he puts on. If it was to correct them, like he corrects me all the time, I'd think more of him. He's got to give in with the gang. He's part of the gang. What right did he have to interfere at all? He wants to grow a set of balls, dear, and stay out of women's work. The fastest buzzer is Jedward. Um, um, that was award-winning. There's only two intensity. guys left in the series, and um, him, so it's obviously that's James C. <clears throat> that is the correct answer. It's so With a total of four points, Jedward have won the quiz. Well done, boys. And will receive a treat later tonight. Perfect. We'll share with our housemates. Thank you. Coming up, Nicola has had enough. Don't fucking talk to me. Don't look at me. I fucking dislike you and your fucking hairpiece. Be prepared for offensive language. <laughs> 10 43 p.m. Following the earlier task, Colleen is venting to GMC about Kim. I'm standing next to the vilest woman I've ever fucking met mm. in my life. Mm. Forget all the tweets and the trolls that come in. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm not bothered. And they're only going on what they've seen. Yeah. And to be fair, if they see me going, Jedward are a pain in the yeah, arse, and yeah, then going, yeah. oh, I love you boys another yeah. day, you can get why they think that's two-faced. Yeah. I know it's not because I've said everything yeah. to the boys, which is, I find you strange, but I like you as well. The person I'm being really two-faced about is her. Really two-faced, and I'll own that. Because what I actually want to say to her now, right now, is from this moment, I don't want to speak to you ever again. Yeah. From now, yeah. for the rest of my life, well, I don't want so. to speak to you so. ever again. Now, when I see that side of her and how fucking vile she is, where she brings up, you're a tacky page three girl. Mm. She's just vi and then turns to me, well, you're two-faced. And I went, don't start picking up on what you've heard, Kim. That's so childish. Mm. 
all that. Oh, well done, boys. Oh. Good on you. And when they were saying things about people, yes, well said, well said. Oh, no, she's... But everything came up bad about her. Bang, straight yeah. in, because yeah. no one else is entitled to an opinion because yeah. she's fucking Mother Teresa. Yeah. Kim and Jedward are also talking about the task. I thought it was hilarious. In the diary room, you would drink. What? You looked like a gangster. You were like, <laughs> you're some rock. Right, have you ever heard of it? I'll tell you what, Colleen was pretty hurt. What was said about her, wasn't she? I don't know, you just can't be surprised. Which is wait, this is pe one person's opinion. Probably an opinion, isn't it? Half the opinions are a pack of lies. They don't even believe us to say it. I have never, at any time, said a word about you, boys. Not at any time, and I wouldn't. I think you're lovely. Nicola is in the diary room talking about Kim. I'm just done. I don't even want to look at her. Everything I've ever stood up for in life is women's rights. I will stand up for women's rights. If you think that's OK to get your boobs out for a living, that's fine. Whatever you want to do in life as a female, I support you. That opinion that she's just gave me in that task is enough to make me hate her for life. I wasn't wrong about her. She's nasty, evil and horrible. She plays a game and she's fake. And I tried with her over the last couple of days, and do you know what? I kick myself now that I did. Fuck that. I was 100% right. She's a nasty fucking bitch. She's, oh, she's so condescending. She's arrogant. She's aggressive. The name she calls me is, I don't understand how she's allowed to stand there and be that fucking aggressive. I never want to see you again. Don't fucking talk to me. Don't look at me. I fucking dislike you and your fucking hairpiece. Eleven sixteen p.m. Nicola has got Kim on her mind. Fucking bitch. Did I say anything really bad in there? And I think you go in a bit much when you shouldn't. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's cause only because I'm different. I'm not like that. I just, no. Was I bad in there? Be honest. Hmm? Was I wrong in there? Be honest. No, you wasn't wrong. But it's just different. Like different how to how I would be. Because I just don't think you should give her the time. No. But she so desperately wants. Right. To a feed, you know. What do you think, be honest? Mm. I think that's right. Mm -hmm. Colleen is in the diary room talking to Big Brother. God, I have tried. I have sat here and gone, do you know, Kim is just like a loony. I don't get her and it makes me laugh because she's just mad. And I've come out of there tonight and thought she's not mad, she's, she's vile. And you know what, you can play this all over the house because I don't care because as of this moment, until we leave, and until I die, I ain't speaking to that woman again. She's vile. She's a horrible, nasty, vile woman. I've never known, met, or ever wished to meet again anybody like her. She's the most fake, horrible woman I've ever met. And also, making out like we're having this bloody love affair. It is disrespectful, and it's so not like that at all. We're like... Such, I've made such a good friend in James C. Kim and Edward are gossiping. I notice in this house they can say terrible things to me. And I think, right, I'm going to say something nasty to you. Oh, could you hear what Kim said? Yeah. Do they not listen to themselves? No, but I was out there. I didn't want to be there because they were. Oh, lovey, at you. don't you get yourself. Lovey, I know you boys. But I feel like they tried to talk bad about you in front of us for our response, but then I'm just like. That you've your own opinion, but I don't even want to They're get involved. They're gross people. They're gross people. It's just awkward when we're sitting there and they're saying oh, stuff. Oh, and it's not awkward, darling. Don't be silly, yeah, love. Yeah, but I want you to know that even if they're talking awkward, shit about love. you and we're sitting with them, it doesn't mean that we support what they're saying. I know that, darling. Yeah, we're just trying to pass time. Of course time. I know that. OK. 
Well, Job's got quite a few things said about him he didn't expect, didn't he? Yeah. I mean, I don't think he likes it at all, but they're there again, lovey, I'm sorry. What a horrible bunch of people in this house. Yeah. I just feel like they don't state their case. They talk, talk, talk behind your oh. back. Oh! But then don't come up to you. There's nothing you can do, darling. With chinless wonders. But I'll tell you something else. If I was James's wife, I'd be annoyed with him. To spend all this time with Colleen, I'd be bloody annoyed with my husband. You can like somebody very much and get to be a pal, but they're inseparable. I'd be terribly annoyed. And if I was a husband, I'd be annoyed. I'm sure there's nothing going on that suggests there is, but it's not right. How disrespectful is she? How fucking disrespectful is that? But then I take on board everybody's feelings that have ever done a job, like page three. I get it. I've I do. done glamour. Yeah, like you did glamour. Yeah. And I just think, hold on a minute. Let me tell you something now. If you paid her enough, she'd get her old saggy boobs out stop, now. Stop. Okay. Stop. But she would. Twelve thirty-three a.m. John has got a question for Kim. Is it too late for an apology? Is it? Because I feel they should apologise to you. Oh, for... Apologise to us for making us feel unwanted. Do you, you know, mean, it, you know, since we've been here, yeah. and you came into the situation. The only reason why everything's got escalated to this is yeah. because they made you feel unwanted. Yes. And we made you feel wanted. You did. And they made us feel unwanted as well. Do you know what I mean? So they're the ones who actually owe us an apology. I know, yeah, darling. Yeah, but you're, you should... They do owe you an apology. Oh, they owe they you do. one as well. Yeah, they do. But you know what? We're all right, aren't we? Yeah. 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 Colleen is discussing her run-in with Kim. Because there is a part of me that I know my friends and my family will be going, fucking tell her. There are some people that, before you die, you need to go, you're really not a nice person, and I just want you to know that. I'd love you to do that. I kind of... W I don't want to get to my deathbed and think, I should have told that witch that she's vile. It's all that. Oh, hello, lovey. Cos even when she's doing that, I think, shut up. Nobody acts like that. <laughs> oh. Gosh, she's vile. Jedward are in the daily room talking to Big Brother. I feel James should apologise to Kim because of never been a bad word between them. A man of his standard shouldn't be talking behind people's backs and not saying to them face to face. James C comes in here and voices his opinion so passionately, like an Oscar-winning performance, but then goes back into the house and there's not a peep out of him. A bird would tweet more. So I don't know how you could be so passionate in the diary room and then not voice your opinion in the house. Kim and us are owed an apology by all these housemates because they made us feel unwanted throughout the whole experience. To our faces, it's great, and we, we don't we drop things like that. We don't hold a grudge. But when it came to nomination, it just came to the whole experience. Um, when the when the time mattered, they just had nasty things to say and things to say about us both. Yeah, I think people at this stage we should all be united. We've all come this far. I know stuff's happened, but I feel they all just need to. I don't know, there's just too much... There's too much people... Yeah. They're just all thick. I just feel... Yeah, they are thick. They're already thick. Yeah. All these housemates just want an easy ride. They think the show's over, we're going home, we don't want to waste our time fighting, meh, 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 meh. I don't know. All I know is I'd love if the house was united. I know Kim's very strong and gangster, but, like, just because everyone gets an opinion of you, it doesn't mean it's true. Yeah. I think that makes sense. I think. I think it does. Coming up, it's story time with Jim C. Evil wizard Kim appeared and cursed that bowl. Oh no, it's the evil wizard. Good evening, boys and girls, and children of all ages. For the final instalment of CBB TV, GMC will be narrating a bedtime story. 
Earlier today, James C chose which housemates would play which characters. He chose Nicola as Prince Charming, Jedward as the mean two-headed troll, Colleen as the kind fairy godmother, Bianca as the naive princess, and Kim as the devious wizard. Let's see what tale we have tonight from the Big Brother house. Or should I say, the Mad House. Once upon a time in the celebrity Big Brother house, there lived a beautiful princess named Bianca. Princess Bianca was ever so upset. The annual Celebrity Big Brother Ball was being held today, but the evil wizard had mysteriously and magically cut her invitation into little pieces. Luckily, help was at hand. Fairy godmother Colleen magically appeared to comfort her. I'm your fairy godmother. I'm going to make everything better. Fairy godmother Colleen produced her magic wand. With a puff, they appeared in the kitchen. For Princess Bianca was known throughout the land for getting shit-faced on an empty stomach. What are we going, going to, to do? Fairy godmother Colleen presented Princess Bianca with three bowls of porridge. Oh, Princess, but yes. look what I have here. <laughs> have a little seat. Yes. The Princess sniffed them. One had no smell. Mm. Another smelt of fresh flowers. Oh, that's not it. And one was just stinky enough to make her appear to gag slightly. <laughs> That's lovely. Unfortunately for the princess, the evil wizard Kim appeared and cursed that bowl. Oh no, it's the evil wizard. <sighs> I'm going to turn this bowl <laughs> into the most evil bacteria and toilet oh. bitch you've ever come across oh. in your life. <gasps> and you'll have bad luck. Oh, your <laughs> life. The bowl oh. lifted and splattered its whole contents. <laughs> onto the princess's head. <laughs> right, we're not going to breathe it in. <coughs> Bad luck forever. At least she had some yummy food to line her stomach. <laughs> it smells like a penguin's chuff. <laughs> right, OK, Bea, you got this. The evil wizard Kim laughed and said, That'll teach you, you gang-handed chicken-livered buggers. You will not go to the ball, my lovelies. What on earth is in this? <laughs> Seriously? Fairy godmother Colleen retorts, How dare you speak to us like that? You've only lived in the magical fairy tale land for three weeks. You wouldn't understand. Be off with you, you evil old hag. And the wizard disappeared. <laughs> Shut your face! Fairy godmother Colleen decided to find the route straight to the ball with her trusty GPS wand. I'll take you straight to the ball. Who needs an invite, eh, when you've got me? <laughs> and they walk straight into the path of Jedward, the two-headed troll. Ah, not so fast! <laughs> you don't want to touch it, The two-headed troll, Jedward, explains he is only trying to have fun and no one understands him. But if you trip-trap over my bridge, you'll get nothing but a bunch of defensive sly digs. What's that in your hair, Dandra? <laughs> Fairy godmother Colleen retorts, how dare you speak to us like that? If you're 25, not 10 years old. She waved her wand and banished the troll into the pool of eternal doom. Doom! No! <laughs> 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 
Princess Bianca and Fairy Godmother Colleen skip off arm in arm towards the ballroom. Will Princess Bianca finally meet her true love? Princess Bianca locks eyes with handsome Prince Nicola, but he has been transformed into a statue by the evil wizard Kim. The only way the Princess Bianca can free Prince Nicola is through the power of her charms. Good luck with that one, then. <laughs> <coughs> Finally, she kisses him. Ooh, it's getting warm in here. Boom! He is free. I am in so love with you, Princess. <laughs> Evil is banished from the kingdom. They all live happily ever after, and everyone involved in the story does a celebratory dance. Cue the music. Boys and girls, children of all ages, that's the end of tonight's story. And now it's time for you to go to sleep. If you dare. This week, Bianca, Colleen, GMC, Jedward, Kim, and Nicola will face the public vote. Who wins? You decide. From a landline call 090 204424 and add the number of the housemate you want to win. From a mobile call 64424 and add the number of the housemate you want to win. For Bianca, add or three. For Colleen, add or six. For Jim C, add or eight. For Jedward, add 12. For Kim, add 18. For Nicola, add 13. Calls to the long number will cost 50p plus your network access charge. Calls to the short number will cost 50p. Voting closes in Friday's final. Votes cast after lines close won't count. If you're watching on Catch Up after that or outside the UK, please don't vote. You can find terms on the Big Brother website. So, who will be crowned Celebrity Big Brother champion? Can't wait to find out. Join Emma Willis for the live final tomorrow at nine. The next tonight, heading home with the hangover from hell forever etched on their rear end. It's new Get Your Tats Out, Cabos Inc.